today we are back in the kitchen and we are going to be making potato soup. Okay, the ingredients you want to need for beef for potato soup is celery, garlic, onions, some bacon, celery, uh, pepper, uh, chicken broth, heavy whipping cream, uh, sea salt, flour, potatoes, and some butter. So let's get started. So now I have a Dutch oven and I have some butter that is going to melt, that is going to saute the celery and the onion. So we're gonna let that melt and then John is going to add the celery and onion. Mm -hmm. Gonna let it get nice and hot. Perfect. Okay. So now, yep, careful. Okay, so now that my onions and garlic and my onions and celery have been softened, now I'm gonna add my garlic and my potato. And now I'm gonna start on the roux. So what you need for the roux is three tablespoons of butter. So I'm going to add my butter. I'm just gonna add in my potato pot. And I'm gonna turn it on to high heat. Ooh, the butter melt. There we go. Now it's cooking. So now that my butter is melting, I have already measured one quarter cup of flour. Now, if you're doubling the recipe, you can add half a cup of flour, but I'm going to just add one quarter cup. Beautiful. Beautiful. So the butter is almost done melting. <coughs> so now my butter is melted, and I'm going to add my one quarter cup of flour until it becomes thick. And then, and now I'm going to add my heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna mix. And now I'm going to add my heavy whipping cream slowly until it becomes a sauce. Okay, so now that my potatoes are coated, I'm gonna add my chicken broth. Oh shoot. So, I'm going to add all of it, once all of it comes out. Come on, come on. Okay, so now my roux is done, and once you know that your, and when you know that your roux is done, it's, um, to know that your roux is done, if it is gravy, because if it is gravy like, so my roux is gravy like, and now I'm going to add it to the potato mixture. So I'm going to get my mitt, I'm my mitts, and Gianna is, or actually it's very. So you want to get every last bit, okay? Now Jonna is going to mix it all together. You want to stir it slowly um, so it doesn't splatter on your face because you don't want that and it's going to burn because it's already been hot. So now that I've added the roux and I've seasoned the soup with salt and pepper, I'm going to cover and simmer for 30 minutes until the potatoes get nice and tender. So now that my soup has been simmering for 30 minutes, I'm gonna blend up some of the, I'm gonna blend it up to make it soupy. There we go. 
And now JL's going to blend them. So now that our soup is ready, and now we're going to give it a try. Let's see. Here go. Okay. Ooh, that looks so good. It's good. Okay. Now, now let's try it. watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share bye